Greetings. This is a volcano, an earthquake watch for the 9th through to the 13th of March 2014. A very strong negative polarity coronal hole formation is now rotating into an earth facing position. The coronal hole formation itself may foreshadow a possible 7.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at a split screen of the Solar Terrestrial Activity Report via Solon.info and an SDO composite still image where we see two strong coronal hole formations on the solar corona. But this watch will be focusing on the Northern Hemisphere and this strong negative polarity coronal hole formation numbered CH606. The magnetic field lines around this coronal hole formation are quite strong. So we should see the high speed solar wind stream exiting this region affect the Earth over the next 24 to 36 hours. Now just south of this region and slightly behind is an active region 11996 which supports the possibility of a foreshadow for a pretty strong earthquake during this watch. We're now using the SDO composite moving imagery and focusing on the rear flank or rear quadrant of this strong coronal hole formation where we see a rapid rate of growth and expansion from this area and this could be an indication of a very powerful earthquake felt here on the Earth. Now solar symmetry mapping from Sun to the Earth there is an area of 27 to 33 degrees north latitude which will be my main area for concern during this watch. Now going to attempt to plot a map of region on the earth that could be at risk for this powerful earthquake and my main area for concern is in and around the Tibetan Plateau or specifically targeting China for this powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake potential and the areas of main interest would be western Zhejiang or Qinghai now there are other locations in and around this image which could be at risk, Pakistan, India or even southeastern Iran, but my main area for focus would be for an Asian profile earthquake targeting the China region. My second area of concern will be the top end of the Philippine plate, specifically targeting Kyushu, Japan or the Izu Islands, Japan region. And my final area for concern for a possible 7.5 magnitude earthquake is for the west coast of North America, specifically targeting Baja California or south into the Gulf of California, Mexico regions. Now these will be the main areas for concern during this watch and I do expect a possible strong earthquake based on the planetary symmetry and also this large coronal hole formation. There's also a possible shake March 12 into 13 for Oklahoma. Now this area has been affected especially over the last few weeks. Now I do expect a possible 4.5 magnitude earthquake during March 12 or 13 due to a strong series of astrocartography and planetary geometry which indicates a possible shake for that region as well. And wrapping up the video we have a series of very powerful ionospheric anomalies registered from February 28 into March 2nd. Now these are extremely large readings. Now the last time we had such powerful readings was back in February 2013 and we do remember an 8 magnitude earthquake striking the Santa Cruz Islands region. So we definitely need to monitor and observe the possibilities of strong earthquake potentials over the next few weeks. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 8th of March 2014. For more information please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers as well as a new newsletter. Annotations and results of this watch will be added during and also at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.